All right. The average American spends a little over two hours a day on social media. And the average teen today spends seven to eight hours on social media. So today we're going to be talking about that and asking the question of what content are we consuming online? Alex, that's a good question you just asked or a good statement or a fun fact you just researched. Um, the thing is, I always say this, and you can attest this to the investment class we do on Saturdays. I always tell adults and everybody in the class, at least 18 and over, especially the people that have an iPhone. The only thing you have to do is when you cut on your iPhone, swipe left, swipe left, and it'll show the productivity or the activities you've done for the day. And if you're on your phone and it's saying you're doing six, six to eight, I mean, hell, three, three hours, two hours of social media on there, then it's not a problem because you're doing social media. It's what content are you consuming while on social media? And we'll dive deeper into this, but I believe it's a correlation between what content you consume and your bank account. Um, most people want, you know, the drama, the action, they want to be in everybody's business, want to know what celebrities doing. For the life of me, I can't understand why people with no money care what people with money are doing. So you rather spend more time wondering what Jay-Z's doing and he has money instead of you figuring out ways for you to make money. Um, I remember a conversation when I had uh, with a, a younger female, I want to say, I say younger because I'm old as hell, but she was in her, you know, teens going into, you know, 20s, you know, area. And we was talking about a concert and they said things like, oh, we just want to breathe the same air as the person that's a celebrity. And then I said, I said, do you know how she got rich? And then she said, then she started talking about this and that and albums. I said, no, the way she got rich is to give it millions and millions and millions of people with no money to spend their hard earned money to buy her product. I was like, the only reason why she's rich is because a lot of poor people bought her. That's it. I mean, just think about it. It's not even a million wealthy people in the United States. Let's just use the United States. If celebrities' consumer base was only wealthy people, they would have nowhere near the money that they have. Because wealthy people wouldn't keep paying to go see Beyonce tour around. Or I'm not picking on Beyonce. I'm talking about all celebrities. Seeing them tour around and things like that. The only way that they can get those multiples of numbers and bring people into their sphere and to make all the money is to get a conglomerate of the people that don't have money, who live in paycheck to paycheck, saving their nickels and dimes up together to go see her in concert, saving money together to go see him uh, to buy his albums. It's not the rich making them rich. They didn't have a record deal with the rich, but the people that's buying all the units is people that don't have it. And then the first thing everybody want to do is say, hey, we should tax the rich. We should tax the wealthy. But it's the poor that's making the rich rich. The rich ain't doing it. The rich ain't doing it to each other. Like, hey, I got money. Hey, uh, so let's say, Alex, you're a celebrity. Hey, Alex, you want to be a celebrity? Well, here's a million dollars so you can be a millionaire. <laughs> They're not just doing that after gracious of their heart. They might give you an advance if you're in music and say, here's a million dollars. Now, all your music belongs to me and then I'm going to still peddle it down here to people that don't have the money because they're foolish enough to spend all their money on it. That's how it works. The rich don't get rich by doing dealings with the rich. The rich get rich by buying companies, doing things and selling it to the middle class and poor that is Total, total oblivious to their financial situation and they just keep buying it to make it. I always say this and you remember, it's easier, it's easier to get a million people to give you one dollar than to get one person to pay you a million dollars. 
And that's all it is. It's about the numbers. They want to sell a they want to sell a whole bunch of units at a low price, and that, that's how they get it. They're not just walking around saying, "Hey, you give me a million, you give me a million, you give me a million. No, let's sell this crap in units. So just think of well, I'm not about to show you how old I am. Just think of CD sales. Just think of box office sales. Just think of all this stuff. This is how they make the money. They make the money, or corporations make the money, taking advantage or benefiting off the people that don't have it. But then you make these people mega wealthy, mega rich, and then you mad at them because they're rich. You took a part in making them rich, but now you're mad. That's the part that I don't understand. I would say they would go the same thing as far as like, say, real estate, for instance, like you and I aren't saving a 20 percent down payment for one, three, four million dollar property so we can rent it out to someone for 30 grand a month. You know what I mean? Like the, the goal is to buy up multiple properties. And even in Grant Cardone scenario, he's not buying mansions to rent to rich. He's buying Co like complexes, entire apartment buildings, and things like of that sort. It's not, it's not trying to hit that one one million like you were saying. Yeah. And and the, yeah, and that's the thing. And the content back to the the original genesis of this, the content that people consume is they consume content that don't benefit them financially. You know, they'll listen to the latest gossip, news, drama, people fighting, all this stuff. But I have no problem. And people, I don't have no problem with people consuming content. Like me, I consume a lot of content. A couple reasons. Because of this channel, getting information, uh, you know, so we can produce on the channel. But a lot of the content I consume on social media, and I do about four or five hours, in this content consumed period that's reading books and things like that, it's all on financial education. It's all about building network, networking, things like that. I'm looking for people who have uh, people that have attributes and things and skill sets that I don't have that I can learn from them to implement in what I'm doing to go out there in the ether and go out there in the world to create more. I'm not here just consuming, listening to the latest joke. Looking at the latest uh, trend, TikTok dance. I mean, it might come across my screen every now and then. I'd be like, oh, okay, what's this? All right, swipe. You know, I'm just like every human. I like to laugh. You know, I might, you know, spend five minutes every now and then on the weekend just looking at funny videos. Yeah, but most of my content is looking at creators who have more than me to teach me what I'm missing. Or if I'm not missing anything, how to hone in on certain skills that I'm trying to do in my business. But I really believe that the content that you consume, the type of content you consume, no matter what it is, it's a correlation to your bank account. So the more trash and garbage that you consume, the more trash and garbage your bank account. The more enlightening, uplifting, motivating, uh, processes, execution, things of that nature, you know, people that's teaching people how to grow in certain areas of their life, and it don't even have to be money. Those people, bank accounts and life, uh, show that. Like, I remember a day, a lady, uh, it wasn't even a neighbor, but I was walking and then she, she saw me, of course, you know, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little darker than you. So she thought, oh, black guy, he must be all into hip hop. I do know hip hop. Let's get this. Don't look, let's not get it twisted. I know hip hop a lot, but she just came like, "Hey, did you hear this new rapper from here? Here, I mean, really, I haven't because I mean, it's only certain certain people I, I follow." And I'm like, "No." And then I asked her, so I start asking her about you know the Robert Kiyosaki's of the world, <laughs> the, you know, one rental at a time, you know, different things like that. And she looked at me in disgust, like, "What the heck are you doing?" Like. You like, like, oh, you're black. You shouldn't be looking at that stuff. You should be l talking, uh, you know, listen to the things that I'm talking about, hip hop or radio. And I was like, no, I don't. 
And then she's just looking like, oh, you're weird. And just walk away. Like, you're weird. You're a bro. <laughs> you're a bro. But I didn't even go and in, go in, jump into that, you know, diatribe with her about that. But that's the mindset. They rather, they rather know everything that's going on in somebody else's life instead of proving their life. And I think that's a big correlation on, you know, what they consume on a day-to-day -day basis, no matter if it's TV, uh, social media, any kind of media, or reading books at all. Only thing it is, is most people are reading trash, and that's what they're getting out of life, trash. All right, I'll get off my soapbox. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Um... Man, that that's yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I I probably I see that a lot too. I mean, just for my age, um, I can't say it from a race standpoint. Um, I'm a half breed, so but matter of fact, matter of fact, the person who looked just like me, it wasn't no, it wasn't no like <laughs> yeah, you know, a white person coming up to me actually, right? <laughs> um, but like um, from my age, uh, yeah, I mean, the majority, I don't know. Actually, I know one person around my age uh who's just one year older than me that's doing very well with his own business um but other than that the majority of people my age they they don't know anything that i know so like for me to talk to them they're just like like i get this a lot people think i'm like 30 35 and i'm like no i'm 24 they're like what you're 24 and it's just because of like the things that i talk about and yeah, the majority of people, the the content that they consume is gonna depend on what is gonna ha that's gonna result in your bank account. When I first started learning finances and stuff, the content I was consuming was literally Dave Ramsey, like in the morning after work, Dave Ramsey, and then I was also watching Graham Stephan, and I blame him for being cheap. It's uh, I would say it's all great. No, it's uh, all great. Now, <laughs> now the world knows. Now the world knows why, why Alex be cutting ramen noodle packets in half, talking about his two separate meals. It's it's crazy. Yeah. It, I want to say early Graham Stephan. Early Graham Stephan. Yeah, he was. He was great. Yeah, he was early Graham Stephan. Man, that was that's how I learned how to make twenty cent iced coffee. How to so there was a video too with like Graham Stephan where um. He brought his girlfriend on and it was like she was pointing out weird things that she thinks he does. And she was like, yeah, one thing he does is he uses grocery bags as trash bags. I was like, I do. that. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know that was weird. I do that. What the heck? Like, I'm like, I thought that was normal. But apparently people like yeah. to buy the trash bags. But um, but yeah, it's very true. I mean, and during that time is when I consuming that content learned tips and you take those tips you put into action and you learn how to follow the baby steps or you know so you're debt free you have a savings the more i learned um with finances the more i kind of adjusted who i was listening to and then reading uh rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki and uh picking up mm -hmm. different um channels like one run out of time is really good it's just pure information um, and I would honestly say that's honestly probably the difference too is with a lot of these channels um, that you show me, it's you can look at their follower account and it, or their subscriber count, and it may not be as high because they're not entertaining, and that's what people want. They want to be entertained, but if you want success, it's, you, you have to take that out. You have to just look at the information and then put it into action. Yeah, Mike Zuber over there, one room at a time. He's doing a hell of a job. I mean, I like it. I consume a lot of his content also. And um, we'll get into another video that uh, Michael Zuber did at one room at a time that changed my mindset recently about the real estate market. But that's another video. I would say Dan Pena is good too, but <laughs> most um, people. Yeah, oh, Dan Pena, that's my guy. <laughs> if, you, yeah. if you consume Dan Pena, people think you're a psychopath. <laughs> right, right. Dan Pena is my guy. But, but yeah, um, it's it's true. Whatever content you consume is going to result in your bank account for sure. Yeah, it it goes to that. It, I mean, now back in the day before social media, um, 
you know, every, you know, kids went outside and everybody, that's how you talk to people. You know, it wasn't, you know, you might have a quick phone call on a landline and stuff like that. And then the old adage, show me your friends, I'll show you your future. It made sense. But now it's, you know, in this new age, most kids don't go outside. Most people get off work and they sit in their house and be isolated. Show me the, the media you're consuming. I'll show you your future. And that's exactly where it's changed. That. It went from friends to content consumed. You consuming shit, you're going to get shit out of life. That's it. You might have a good paying job and you live in check to check, but you're not going to get any better than that. Living check to check sucks. I mean, it literally sucks. Oh, yeah, I can go out when payday hit. Then you get paid on a Thursday or Friday, and then you blow all the money on the weekend. Now, of course, paying bills. Hopefully, everybody paying bills. And then Monday, you sit here, oh, man, now I got to work two more weeks so I can get some more money to go blow it again. You're blowing it to go to bars, clubs, buy clothes, to give the impression you have money, probably hanging out with the same people you work with. So they know how much you get paid. But you want to act like you got more than you do. And then you go broke, impressing them to go back home for two weeks. That's the reason why they consume it. And this is the reason why they consume it in those eight hours and 10 hours. Because they ain't got no money to go nowhere else. They already paid for the internet bill. So this is the only entertainment they got for the next two weeks. Because they even blew all their money the first weekend they got paid. If they wasn't living check to check and they can go out and see things more and they have more money to go do that, social media be down. People ain't got no money. They live in check to check. So they sit in the house. How can we entertain? Oh, let me just go look at everybody else's life. That's what's going on. That's what I believe. I think you're right. I wouldn't say you're wrong. <laughs> it makes sense. With all that being said, guys, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Uh, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.